YouTube, what is the deal? It's your boy, the truth you dig. And before we get to what this video is about, rock, chalk, Jayhawk, baby. Y'all see it. It's always in my background. I represent. We're on to the final four. Talk to me, baby. Now, I know a lot of y'all thinking you're a Kansas fan, but you're a Broncos fan. How does that work if you're from Kansas City, Missouri? The long story short, if you ever want to know, come into my Twitch stream and ask me the question. I'll go into it. Um, but yeah, Kansas Jayhawks are on to the final four. We got Villanova. Hopefully, revenge from 2018. Where they basically shot the lights out of the ball, but that's a day for another story. Let's lose this hat today. It's about the Broncos theme team, even though you know college basketball March Madness is here. But we got some huge upgrades now. I apologize for this video this last weekend, it was streaming and it was March Madness essentially. So, um, obviously, look, today we're able to do this now. For me, this is on I think Monday, and for you guys, yeah, I'll be seeing it Monday too, which is going to be strange, but it'll be recording this Sunday, you guys' time. But Nevertheless, we got two huge upgrades this this week, and Emmanuel Sanders and Wes Welker both came out of the veterans program. And look, they're receivers. Um, both have 99 speed. Now, something you guys have been asking me is I've seen in the last comment on my Broncos team team video, how to what boost do I have? So I'll go through that real quick. But you see, Emmanuel Sanders, 99 deep run, running 99 speed. Now, Wesley Welker, it's been a cry for this guy since he basically got that 85 to start the year he finally gets an upgrade and look he is on a small side i have played a fair few games and does his small stature help him no it does hurt him a lot but you guys will see in the game today and he doesn't really fit what i like to do because i do like you know six one five eleven six one six two receivers um so before i get into my strategy cards i want to talk about this man so on my last video i asked you guys if you wanted me to keep Devonte adams or not it was 50 50 i believe it was either three three or two two i need you guys to let me down know down below can I keep or do you guys want me to keep Devontae Adams or you want me to remove him? If you guys tell me to remove him, I'll probably put Emmanuel Sanders up and then put Jerry Judy back in to the starting lineup. So let me know down below if you guys want me to keep Devontae Adams. The rest of the offense hasn't changed. We're still letting Russ cook, which is crazy. I don't know if you guys seen it on the news, but the Broncos stadium was on fire the other day. And I made a joke about the offense already cooking in the stadium. So nothing else has really changed off the line defense hasn't changed as well um basically the same now let's get into my strategy cards real quick um so on my strategy cards i'm running one deep route specialist and another one play fake now we only have one that gets speed i just need one to get emmanuel sanders and wes welker up to 99 speed if jerry judy gets back into the lineup i will have to run two and then i have play fake fully maxed out so this is why my line are getting boost as well you can see what it boosts um plus four deep out um accuracy um, play um, pass block. I think it's just pass block and deep route running. And then onto my defense. Now this is a big switch as well. While my defense is getting a bit of a boost as well. Typically you run two in the zones, but I have one in the zone DB that boosts man coverage, and then I also have secure tacklers. So you notice that my secondary um, chemistries or secondary strategy cards on both sides of the ball boost everything. Now for this to secure tackle, I believe you get plus four tackling awareness and pursuit, which is why you will be seeing a bunch of basically my whole team getting a plus boost um, across the whole entire team. Now, has it been effective? Now, the big thing for me, it costs some of my DBs not to get 99 speed. I think Brian Dawkins gets 99, Justin Simmons, John Linton only get 97, but like a T key to leave and Tyler only get 98, Patrick Sarstain still gets 99. So, but it helps boost like Demarcus Ware, Randy Gregory, and all these other guys. So. That's my two strategy cards in the zone, insecure tackler on defense, and deep route specialist and play fake on offense. And that's the squad. Let's get into a game. See if we can make it cook with Wes Walker and Emmanuel Sanders. Let's get it. All right. That's my opponent's top three. Sorry, I was watching my, put my hands over my eyes I was, as the game was loading. But um, yeah, it looks like a good top three. Steve baby. Let's get it. All right. First and 10 here. Um, so he's coming out with Joe Namath. He has Chad Ochocinco. He has Eric Dickerson in the backfield. Good thing this is a Madden 20. Ooh, big hit cam. Gun flex. So we're going to have Randy Gregory man up because I think he's going to send Eric Dickerson on like that little out route. Yep, like that. We should have that. Oh, I should have stuck. Mm, I was too worried about Eric Dickerson, man. My bad. My guy is taking his time and working the play down, play clock down every single time. And this time he doesn't. We're facing a runner. I'm playing a defense that's begging him to, to run the ball. So, and he's continuously doing it. So, and he gets a lucky block. Okay. Okay. Apologize. This is the gameplay I have to see. And he's going to continue to run. Alright, I'm 
just gonna run commit here. If he throws it for the first time, he throws it. I think he will throw it though. He can, he's tired. Hit stick him and he fumbles. All right. Third and goal. Let's see if he runs here or what he does. I do have everything manned up. Let's go. This is what we play in Man 22 in March. All right, first and 10 here. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna try to hit Wes Walker on this. He's open too, yeah. Get out, Wes, get out, Wes. Okay, nice little short dot. Uh, this is 100% man to man. We're gonna let Wes Walker cook. Wes Walker could get open maybe. Wes Walker. <laughs> hey, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Um, Cause this guy's just playing basically stock cover three, so it's nothing too special. Wes, oh, get in there. Mm. See, if he was a bit taller, I think he may get in there. See, this is why I literally cannot wait for Brandon Marshall to get an upgrade. Cause once he does get an upgrade, that's gonna be my receiver. Like, definitely gonna be my receiver. Touchdown, Melvin Gordon, but. West help us get down there, and so did Emmanuel. This is what happens when you play runners and they're forced to pass. We're, we're screaming here. I'm going to scream a little bit here. That's cool, Chris Harris. Big hit to the wrong defense, but we're, we're going to play. We're going to play. No. That's on me. I don't know what I was looking at. This is super risky. Um, we're sending the freaking crib at him. We're sending the... Let's go, John! We're sending the crib at him. We got time. We do got time. 12 seconds. I'm going to... Now, key word is... I'm going to try to get Wes Walker deep. This all depends if we get blocks. It's all it depends on. I think we have him. No! Russ got hit. Break it up, Wes! Ah! See, that's the problem. He's 5'9". I can't really throw that, but I wanted to try. I could have gotten field goal range, but obviously did not. All right, start of the second half. This dude is literally not coming out of this defense. And I, I could literally just... Dude, Noah. Noah. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. He's not coming out of this defense. I don't know why. We're going to see if we can get Emmanuel Sanders. We're going to see if we can get Emmanuel Sanders. We're going to see. We got him. Cook Emmanuel, cook Emmanuel, cook one, cook one. Oh, get into the end zone, baby. All right, all right, hurry it up, hurry it up. Well, let's go Melvin, let's just feed Melvin. Melvin's actually been really good for us. He's been really good, really, really good, surprisingly. He surpassed Javante in the hierarchy, but 14-3, big place. And he is out of here, which I don't know why it took that long. GG's. All right, we decided to hop into another game since that game was a bit of a snooze fest. Um, so that's my top three per normal, and this is my guy's top three. Oh, my God, those are deep route KOs, so that could be an issue this game. A lot of man coverage coming our way. All right, so this is going to be a very Melvin Gordon-esque game. I'm telling you, it's going to be. Except we got Wes cooking. Wes, 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 can you outrun? He can't outrun. So in this game, I literally have to work Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon is who I have to work because he's going to be open every time. Like Mel Melvin Gordon will be open every time. Yeah, see? Like, I don't want to play this way, but this guy's going to force me to play this way. Like, Melvin Gordon will literally be open every time because he won't have anyone on that. He does have that Sean Taylor over there with Lurker, but it doesn't matter. We got Melvin. Okay. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Um... Let's see what he does here. We're gonna put Emmanuel over there. It's basically gonna be a two-man route for me. It's gonna be Vernon Davis, Melvin Gordon is who I'm reading. And Vernon Davis cooks. Bro, I always do that. My fat fingers. Touchdown! All right, first and 10 here. Oh, my boy got a little Trey Lance action going on here. Play action. We should scream. We're not screaming. I don't know why we didn't scream there, but I was playing uh, pedal to the metal here. I like it. I like it. We can rock with this. That's a pick. Let's go, Patrick Sertain. 
Patrick Sertain. See you, Trey Lance. Oh, where did Antonio Gibson come from? The new best corner in the league. You heard it here first. If he stays in this, I, I'm literally boys. I'm telling you, it's going to be a Melvin Gordon show. He's going to have to either guard. Tell you, he's going to have to guard either one. He's got, he can't guard both. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Now, remember, he has those KOs, though, right? So I got to be worried about that. But I might be able to get a manual. I might be able to get a manual. Maybe if a manual gets separation. The man you get separation. What a beam! Emmanuel Sanders. Woo! This is why I need to let Russ, Russ cook. Just let the man cook. Let's see if he goes back to it. We should be all right if he goes back to it. You know, we all know what the play is. I basically have anything in the middle. Oh, he has a. Oh, I didn't know he was. I didn't know he had a skate artist. Okay. That boy took off like a jet, didn't he? Let's send him the heat. Let's send him the heat. B Dog. What range, though? I don't know how we didn't get home, but. Rocking with Antonio Gibson, which still is not a bad car. Yup. Oh, what? Hey, that's good play. That's a good play. I don't know how he's blocking my pressure, though. A bunch. Again, we're gonna try to scream obviously our screaming has not been working so but that time it did let's go Chris Harris all right he's bringing someone on this side so that means our left side pressure should get in right that means our left side pressure should get in right that's a pick P2! Get up. Let's get another one. Let's get it. Okay. Break it. Nah. Patrick Sertain. They're going to be seeing a lot of that. All right. This time, we're going up top to Russ. I mean, not Russ. We're going up top to uh, our boy, Wes. Now, this could be an issue, fellas, because <laughs> Wes is 5'9", and the cornerback he's going against is Moss is 6'4". But we're going to try it. We're 100% going to try it. We're going to try it. Can you... <laughs> Let's go. Woo! All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do something a bit different. He's going to think Wes is going on the deep post. We're just going to put him on a you know nice end post here. But I need no offense to clear out. So my reads are going to be Wes Welker or Melvin Gordon, essentially. And we got him. Oh, <gasps> no. Get him. <sighs> I think I had to wait a slight second and I would have had him. Ah, my bad. Send the dogs. Send the dogs. Continuously send the dogs. This is not. That's a pick. Best hands in the league. Best hands in the league. Oh, get a block. Okay. Okay. Best hands in the league. Best hands in the league. Ah. All right, we're back on offense. I'm going to try something a bit different here. I haven't pulled this out yet, so he shouldn't be expecting it. I am going to try to hit Emmanuel Sanders, maybe. It's going to be between Emmanuel Sanders and Russ. Depends on who he lets. Not Russ. Why do I see him? Russ. Emmanuel Sanders and Wes Welker, depending on who he lets cook. Depending on who he lets cook. Oh, come on. Stupid deep route knockout. He was open, too. Look, I'm going back to it. I'm going back to it. He's not going to see it coming. Or if he does see it coming, I don't care. I'm still throwing it. I threw a pick. <laughs> I try to bait him a little bit. This is I'm stupid. I'm keeping him in the game. I should be ending it. My bad. I'll just play offense next time. My fault. I'm manning up to Sean Jackson. He's not gonna be Yeah, uh-huh. Let's go. You're not outrunning him. You're not Vaughn! The Vaughnster. Sign with Buffalo for that crazy contract too. I gave him a new little wrinkle there. He didn't expect me to uh man him up. Did not expect it. So we decided to give it to him. All right, and we ran him up again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come here. Come here, Trey Lance. We're going to get a timeout. We're going to get a timeout. <sighs> now, we're going to try to hit Wes Welker on that. Because I think oh, Wes Welker is still in the slot. All right. So let's see if Wes can potentially get open here. 
Go get it. Go get it. Oh, stupid deep knockout KO, man. I hate that deep knockout ability. It's such a bailout ability, but that's why it's in the game. No skill gap. All right, let's go back to Old Faithful here and see what we can rock. We got him this time, though. We got him. Ain't no deep knockout this time. When you get burnt. Manual. Up top. Third of the second half. I don't know how much more of this game I'm going to show you guys, but we'll see. We'll see. Does he get that? Ooh, sorry, sir. Guy's literally still trying. So since he's still trying, we're gonna try to go up top to Emmanuel. We're gonna try to go up top to Emmanuel. No. Dot? Melvin! <laughs> I'm telling you, Melvin Gordon has been making plays. What a catch. And that got him out of there. Okay. Woo, well, that was a game. I messed around a little bit, but we got the W at the end of the day. Boy, he showed out. And that's going to be it for me. As you can see, 4-0 on the weekend. We probably won't play any more games. I am going to do a full weekend league with the Broncos team team one of these weekends when I have time. But as you can see, we got weapons now. Um, so that's good. Now, I still would like to keep Devontae, but it's completely up to the common sense. And like I said, in the last video, it was 2-2. Um, I went back and checked, so let me know down below. Keep Devontae, get rid of Devontae. I'm down with doing it either way. Like I said, if I do get to keep Devontae, it'll be him and Emmanuel. If I don't, it'll be Emmanuel and Jerry Judy. But Emmanuel's okay. 5'11's not that small, but for some reason, 5'9 just looks extremely tiny. So um, that's it for the Broncos theme team. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Have a blessed week. Again, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. We're going to the Final Four. Broncos are the best team in the AFC West. Don't at me. Tell somebody else. I'm signing out with that Maha Salute. Deuces.